Hi, my name is Doug Golick, and I'm an associate professor of entomology at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. I study pollinators, pollinator conservation, and helping people understand how to help pollinators through effective management strategies. As a researcher, I sample for insects like monarch butterflies, bees, and moths to find out how a habitat like this is good for pollinators. I also talk to people a lot about what they know about pollinators, so we take that information then and help people better learn about pollinators by designing educational programs. So I'm looking at a goldenrod plant here, and this is one of our prairie plants you find in later summer and throughout the fall. This is a great plant to look at for different types of pollinators. We're always looking for things like butterflies, moths, bees, like our native bumblebees, to be feeding on a plant like this. You'll also see soldier beetles, which are really common in the fall. They're long-bodied beetles, and you'll see them all over a plant like this. I also found this cicada. Cicadas are, you typically think, as a urban environment insect, but there are prairie cicadas as well. If we find these in a habitat like this, this can be an indicator of a really healthy environment. I use a net to collect this cicada and put it in the jar. Now, when possible, I advocate doing catch and release of insects. I know which species it is, I've written it down, and I could simply let it go. As an alternative, you can use your phone or another device to take a photo, record that picture, and share it elsewhere with somebody that knows which species it is. From that information, I can save this insect and let it back into its environment. When you have many different types of plants in an habitat like this, you're going to find lots of different insects. The more and different your plant species are, the more different the insects you're going to find. Right now, there's tons of goldenrods here and tall grasses. These are great for some insects, like our soldier beetles, and some of our smaller bees, but not very good for many of our butterflies and moths. So if we walk 50 feet down here in the other direction, you might find a completely different bit of habitat with different plants and different insects on those plants. When you're planning for pollinators, think about the diversity of plants you need to support diverse pollinators. I'm super passionate about pollinators and I hope you become that way too. Three things that you can do to help pollinators. The first is, plant a diverse set of blooming plants in your habitat, in your home environment, to provide food for pollinators. The second is to provide some bare spots for bees to nest in, and also some woody plants for them to nest in those stems. Finally, use pesticides smartly in your home. That means only use them when you need to, and don't overuse them. Those three things can do a lot to help our pollinating and beneficial insects.